Well, hello, it's uh, Saturday, November the 3rd, and uh, I've come down to the plot today for the first time since the 22nd of October. So I thought I'd give you an update of uh, the progress that I have made. I'll just pan round, as you can see, on a few beds. <coughs> right, this little bed here uh, is uh, going to be a little flower bed, and uh, it's got uh, spring bulbs in. Uh, it's got tulips, and it's got allium in as well, and daffodils. <coughs> This little bed here I've created is going to be a beetroot bed. Uh, this little border here is going to be alliums and uh, spring bulbs again. And in the summer um, I'm going to have cosmos and miniature sunflowers. This area here is going to have um, weed suppressant fabric and uh, wood chips over the top and it's going to be a little sit down area. This bed here is going to be uh, a couple of miniature fruit trees, uh, probably two apple trees, and at the back here is going to be a uh, munchkin pumpkin um, to trail up the fence and uh, up some posts and some trellis that I'll make. These two beds here are going to have broad beans, which I've started off at a This bed here has got field beans in at the moment, uh, and that is going to be a potato bed. In this bed here, I've got garlic and onions. And at this end, I've got uh, field beans, uh, and I'm going to have leeks that end. In here is going to be a butternut squash and courgettes. Well, I planted several weeks ago uh, field beans, and you can see that they're all starting to, to come up. This is one of the first errors that I made. Um, I made the beds too big, especially this one here. I'm going to have to create a new path, which I'll show you go, which will run down the middle just there, so that I can walk to both sides without uh, leaving the open and walking on the beds. So yeah, it's coming along. Um, in between uh, the beds, as you can see, it's still turfed and grassed. Uh, I'm going to have. Um, cardboard down, well I'm going to use a, a mattock and uh, dig up the turf and try and level it as best as I can and put cardboard down, uh, weed suppressant membrane and wood bark over the top. So they'll be perhaps in between these beds here. I'm going to start work on a bed just here. Uh, there's going to be one bed there, one bed there one bed there and one bed there, and that'll be four beds in total. Uh, I'll be working over the next couple of weeks sorting that out. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these beds here yet. The first bed will probably be potatoes. Uh, this end here, I've uh, got um, spring flowering bulbs again, but in the future I'm going to have a little pond, a wildlife area pond here and another large bed on this side here. So, I haven't been down since the 22nd of October, but uh, things are coming along. Obviously, I'm trying to get the beds done first. I hope you can hear me with the uh, bits of wind. Uh, sorry about that. And I think it was the... probably about three weeks ago, all this area was flooded, if you remember. I showed you on the video. So yeah, it's all work in progress, I just little and often, and uh, I'll just keep carrying on as best as I can. This is the first time I've ever had an allotment, so I've learned from a couple of mistakes that I've made. But, uh, 
I'm quite happy with uh, the way things are going at the moment. Um, this, in fact, is M12. I got this wrong. It should have. Been, uh, I was calling it M9, but it is, in fact, M12. And the plot over there is M9. Um, and this is M9. And just, just on this side of the fence, I'm going to have a, a shed there. And on this back end, uh, I'm going to have compost bins. And down at the bottom, where the canes are, where that little shed is, uh, I'm going to uh, hopefully have a polytonic on the bottom part, but that will be the next five But yeah, it's, it's coming along.